Welcome to No More Risk. Are you doing all you can to ensure the reliability of your electrical systems? Failure of a circuit breaker to operate during an overload, electrical fault, or other abnormal operating condition could result in overheated insulation, conductor failure, arcing, property damage, the potential for fire, and interruption of power and production loss. We're here at the FM Global Sim Zone to talk about circuit breaker maintenance and testing practices and what you can do to prevent costly property damage and downtime. So what causes breakers to fail? Let's consider a few of these causes. The most common is related to mechanical component issues resulting in the breaker either opening too slowly, binding, or not opening at all. This can cause extended current flow and the risk of breaker meltdown sometimes known as arc flash. If the breaker is not sized properly, it may not be able to clear a fault should one occur. The breaker must be sized for the largest expected fault current. In addition, overloading can also occur where the normal load is high enough to cause heating over an extended period. This results in damage to the insulation and mechanical components. Other causes include chemical attack on insulation, relay and auxiliary device failure, and loose bolted connections. Some adverse conditions can be identified through simple visual inspections, and FM Global recommends routine visual inspections as a matter of good engineering practice. Examples include dirt, moisture, and other environmental conditions. The best way to identify thermal anomalies is through the use of infrared thermographic inspections. Infrared cameras pick up the heat signature given off by loose or overloaded conductors and or overloaded breakers. If temperatures exceed manufacturer's recommended limits based on load conditions, then corrective action should be undertaken. We also recommend that all breakers be exercised at least once a year to ensure that they will open and close when needed and that any deficiencies are identified and corrected. Some breakers also require lubrication. Remember, only use lubricants approved by the manufacturer. Breakers also need to be calibrated and time of flight tests need to be conducted to ensure they will open at the correct current settings and within the prescribed time limits. This will ensure the breaker opens and closes as designed. Don't let a preventable failure interrupt your business. Remember, proper inspection, testing, and maintenance of electrical equipment is essential to preventing property loss and business interruption. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on No More Risk.